also known as Ink Fetish, uh, and we're here in my studio. I've been, I've been drawing forever, painting forever, um, and got into graffiti when I was, when I was a teenager, 13, 14, uh, and then started taking the whole thing a bit more seriously um, as I got older into my sort of 20s, um, and really started to see graffiti as more of a way of uh, more of an extension of my illustration work than, than doing traditional graffiti so I started painting the characters that I was used to doing on paper I started painting them large scale so that's basically taken me to a point now where I'd say I, I, I don't, I'm not really sitting on the graffiti side of the fence I'm not really sitting on the street art side of the fence I just sort of see myself more as a, a large scale illustrator maybe or a large scale painter with a, with a background in, in graffiti. An ongoing theme of my work is sort of, you know, characters that on the surface look quite innocent. Yeah. But then there's a sort of a dark undertone. You know, light and dark is something that exists in society and, and in the world as a whole. So I try and, well, I wouldn't say I try and put that into my work, but I think that naturally comes out in my work that, you know, there is light, light and dark exist in everything, you know, and also a lot of my work is sort of, it deals with sort of childhood and childhood fears, and it's all about sort of, um, you know, as you grow up, you start to see the world as, as an adult, yeah. and the sort of newfound fears that, that occur during that time, and they're usually represented by fantastical things, sort of little monsters or whatever, so... Yeah, I suppose that's kind of what my work's about. I actually just uh, painted quite recently a, a new piece uh, in Shoreditch on Peach Properties, and I got an email the next day from Don't Panic saying that they'd just seen my new piece yeah. and they really liked it, and yeah, basically said, do you want to do a poster for our packs? Yeah. 